mouse has played a key role in Apple's success for bringing the graphical user interface to the market. They have made a lot of different mice over the years, and we're not going to start with the first one, but we're going to start with a really early one called the Desktop Bus Mouse. ADB, which stood for Apple Desktop Bus, was the type of port that this mouse used to connect to the Macintosh. It was a ball-based mouse because we did not have other technology at the time, and you could remove the ball and clean it just by removing the plastic protective disc on the bottom of the mouse. Its form factor was simple and only had one button. That is how Apple did it for quite a long time. Seven years after the last mouse, the Desktop Bus Mouse 2 was released. It featured a new design that was a lot more comfortable to hold, and it still connected over ADB, and you would still clean the ball by doing the same procedure as you would on the previous mouse. If you compare other mice from other companies around this time, you will start to notice even more companies that are not Apple started to use the same kind of form factor. The Apple USB mouse, or more commonly referred to as the Puck mouse, came with the original iMac and it had a completely new design with color and shape. However, the shape wasn't highly praised, but the fact that it was USB made it very convenient. Because of its odd shape, other accessory manufacturers made a little case that you could put on the mouse so it had a more natural shape to it. The Apple Pro mouse had a completely new transparent design with no mouse button at all, the whole surface was clickable, and you could adjust how much pressure it took to click the mouse with the dial on the bottom. It was also the first Apple mouse to not need a trackball. And as a bonus, the mouse also came in black. This mouse's design was liked by Apple so much, they kept it for a while and used it in the next mouse. The Apple Mighty Mouse, later renamed the Apple Mouse, was the first mouse from Apple to have right and left clicking. The mouse also featured a center click, 360 scrolling, and side buttons. All of the customizable preferences were available through the System Preferences application in Mac OS X. A little while later, Apple introduced its second wireless mouse. The first wireless mouse was pretty much a wireless version of the Pro Mouse, but this mouse had all of the features of the Mighty Mouse, and it was Bluetooth enabled. Now we come to the latest and greatest mouse design from Apple. Known as the Magic Mouse, it features a multi-touch surface, it is wireless, and it has a new design. Because of it having no separate buttons, but a multi-touch surface, users could scroll anywhere on the mouse, click anywhere on the mouse, do other gestures like a two-finger swipe to navigate between pages in a browser for example, and many other types of gestures you can do on the surface. So there you have it, the evolution of most of Apple's mice over time.